Hey there you! Aw! Welcome back to another Spiritual Oracle Card Reading. Now this particular reading is for you at this time in your personal life. Look, we are all inside of divine timing. Ah, uh, of course that's a decision or an intention that we're making. When we make an intention that we're always in the right place at the right time, then we remove any enemy, we remove any doubt or fear, Instead, we feel a sense of security and safety and confidence that there's some information or scenario that's unfolding that can be received by us for our highest good. Look, so just set that intention, the inner tension or the inner knowing or the inner eyeball, that inner focus, so that then when you look out into the world, that's what you will see. This is really what we're talking about when we describe self-mastery. Because we are mastering the world of the self, meaning the world of people, places, and things out there that we are perceiving as we go through this day, as we go through our life. The people, places, and things, all the information out in the world, oh, we don't have any power over that. We want to just let go of that outer picture and go within to that star within, that inner space, that third eye, that intention place. And as we set that starlight up on fire here, we're going to see only the goody good things. This is an easy way for anybody to be able to move through their life effortlessly and smoothly, filled with all of this new abstract experience. Look at it all represented here. So we've got all the divine masculine logic and reason and structure all the divine masculine words and descriptions of our past, everything we've already known. But we also have this whole new dimension of life, this abstract creative experience of the divine feminine, the light, the expansion, the anything is possibleness, mm, basically the stars coming down through us out into the world for us to be able to perceive and collect all of this beautiful swirly energy and light and inspiration as a reflection of us deciding, intending that we are only going to see what is for our highest good. So self-mastery. What else are we supposed to say about that spirit? Mm. Tell them to pause and breathe when their motions run high. When we pause and move our focus onto the activity of taking a long deep breath like I'm doing right now and holding it in just for a few extra seconds. <sighs> oh, when we let go, off we will be into that time out space there. We're free, free above the world to live in this other dimension, this inner space, this chakra flavored life that is eternal, that is beyond the world, a time out. So pausing and breathing, throughout the day will lift you up into this space of freedom and wellness and land of anything is possible. There's nothing but flow. Everything's okay. I feel like a little kid. Everything's okay. I'm going to have a great day because in that space, we're able to just set those good intentions, those preferred intentions. We're not going to get swept away by any person, place, or thing out there that surprises us, that tries to trickity trick trick us. No, because we know <laughs> that we have overcome the world that we are really a green heart chakra dragon. What's that? Not a bad thing, not a fire breathy thing. No, it is a loving and caring winged experience, meaning that we are getting up and outside of the world and having this beautiful space of fantasy, of fantasy, meaning that we can go up here and imagine and feel anything that we'd like to. And then when we look out into the world, we can go around and gather our little nuts like this little squirrel's doing. What's that? That means we can look out at the world with our intentions set and we're going to gather data that matches what we've intended up here, what we've planted up here as the big tree seed, the big tree seeds, the egg corn seeds. It's the trick of life. That's self mastery. 
We're not going to have any trickery. We're going to master life by knowing this simple trick of taking timeouts regularly by pausing, moving awareness to breathing, and in that stillness, you're going to be in that super duper, super conscious spiritual space where you can identify as a spiritual being like this dragon, spiritual heart chakra, having a human squirrely, squirrely worker bee type experience running around the world, gathering your little signs, gathering your little reflections of the good things you're hoping for. And that's how it works. That's how we master the world of the self. And remember, Everything that's happening is for us because why? <laughs> we are watching the world through our own self. That's how we're interacting. So if you see any shadows, ooh, the shadow self, ah, it's not a big deal. Look, it's just really not so much a dark thing. Think about this. It's just a variety of the rainbow of colors. That's all that's coming down. Look at that. So there's nothing to worry about. If you see any behaviors out there in people that are ouchity, ouch, ouch, ah, they're all going to be smoothed out and just sort of being able to pull all of the beautiful energy from those experiences because we know that we have overcome the world just by simply pausing, breathing, remembering who we are as a spiritual being having a human experience. You can see the spirit and the self right here talking combined. So. Ah, uh, this is just a little reading to mm, let you know that setting intentions, pausing and breathing, and really creating a little bit of an outline up here of what you prefer is the way to go so that you can start to see that reflected back. So spend some time contemplating next to that tree of life that you are, right? <laughs> that tree of life that you are, that you take a time out with, and formulate your inner intentions based on what you really, really want to see coming to pass. There's no reason to argue with people anymore or be bitter or be concerned that people are doing you wrong or any of that. Oh, sure, sometimes their behaviors are a little ouchity ouch and they rub us the wrong way and they need to be, you know, spoken about, but so what? We're gonna have the right words to say at the right time because we are living inside of this divine dream, this divine dream. And ultimately we are going to be able to surrender to our true identity as the divine masculine and divine feminine that live inside of each of us. Right. Our words and our emotions that are forever married and combined up here. And as they, oh, take the, as, as we take that time out, we go up there and we allow them, we allow them to dream a little dream about our personal life. And they're going to pick all the goody good stuff anyway. So surrender to the spirit. Allow yourself to let, to let go. And just be the one who believes. Believes that the intentions they set are getting reflected back in their personal life. Take care as you move forward in your day, your week, your month, your year. Take care as you move forward in all your little relationships in every single one of them, which is so vital and important. Family members, significant others, co-workers, all of them. Strangers, people at the grocery store, as you're moving forward, keep dreaming big. Keep going up to that outer space place so that you can come back down into the world and find what you're truly looking for. That is your reading. Oh yeah, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Bring down that bell, the notification bell, so you have a notification for the daily readings that I do. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Hit the like button if you haven't done that yet. Oh, if you liked the video. And leave me some comments. Let me know what you're thinking or feeling. Let me know what you think about any of this stuff. I'd love to hear the words that you express. Remember, whatever we talk about and pack into the world, ooh, that magnifies in our own personal life. So you can use that so easily to master yourself. Take care, friends. I'll see you again tomorrow. A goodbye.